Welcome, welcome back. This is episode four of Boxes in the Basement, or if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Um, we're just going into some shoes that we like. We already talked about the premise of why we started this. Um, you at the barber shop, a barbecue, um, after you're done playing ball, right before you're done playing ball, you always, you know, chop it up and see what's working for you, what you like. Um, some of the shoes that I like are dead stock, so you can't get them from a retailer. You got to go to a resale shop, you know, a consignment shop, buy, sell, trade, um, or what have you. So, uh, shout out to the kickback for these. These are the Kyrie 5 Concepts. Um, these are the uh, I-K-H-E-T editions. So Kyrie 5, so I like this silhouette, I like this colorway. Um, these are one of the ones that uh, kind of work for me. Um, like I said, stay tuned. The next um, episode, uh, episode five, I'm gonna try to get out before the end of the week. It's, it's, it's a nice one. The ones that I got don't release in, in most places until August, so you're gonna like that. But let's get into uh, to these. Um, the school that I work at, the primary color is, is uh, purple and gold, purple and yellow, what have you. So this is one of the uh, things that attracted me, that drew me to the shoe. Um, so I can, you know, I wore it to work before. Um, you know, had my khakis on, had my little my school shirt, and, and it went it went well with it. Um, if these are, you know, a pair that match with some shorts that you have, um, you know, it, it would go perfectly. Um, but this is not a color that you can just wear with any old thing. Um, you know, it's just kind of unique in that regard, you know, with the red tongue, with the purple sole, has like a little crystallization to it. It's just not, you know, one, you know, uh, colorway of purple. It's kind of like a dual colorway, you know. Um, but with that being said, uh, these, you know, people are starting to get back into playing, working out, you know, hooping, um, training, and um, these are some of the ones that work for us. You know, the low top, I'm gonna do a low top review of a Kyrie that I like. Um, I know Kobe has the low top. Like I said, people have been playing soccer for years. Um, and, you know, if you're going to roll your ankle, you're going to roll your ankle. But majority of the soccer cleats are low top. Um, I've seen a lot of rugby, rugby players wearing low top. Um, even some football players wear the low top. You know, I, I believe Odell Beckham likes to wear a low top uh, and some other ones. So uh, don't be afraid of that. But I do like the mid-cut. I am a fan of the mid-cut um, with these. You know, it has a concept uh, to see the concept on that, if you can see. Um, like I said, these, these are uh, a particularly um, unique pair. I do believe that they're, they sell for almost double the retail uh, value now. So if you, you if you got a chance to cop up when they came out, then cool. You know, you paid that little 130, you know, I believe 140. So they're like specialty shoes or the, um, uh, you know, the event shoes um, or the campaign shoes like Black History Month, um, All-Star Editions, things of that nature are like $10 more on each each sneaker, I believe, um, but it's a good price point for these. Um, but if you can't get your hands on these, get your hands on them. Also, too, if you if you don't have a, a uniform or shorts that match with it or it has that in there, you can always get something customized. There's a lot of people out that do a little customization of shorts, um, and that's a good idea for them. But I do like I said before the roll uh, pattern. It's the, I don't know if I can grab the box for you, but the shoe doesn't completely touch. <clears throat> As you can see, it doesn't completely touch, uh, you know, the surface or the floor. So if you're on the gym floor, if you're outside, the, the rubber is real durable for playing outdoors. Um, but if you're on the gym floor, it doesn't uh, uh, touch completely. And that's for, you know, cutting, rolling, taking off. Uh, it gives you good range of motion. And the pattern that Nike and Kyrie used for the fives were uh, from a motorcycle tire. Um, so these videos are about, like I said, five minutes, not not too much, not nothing major. Um, we're gonna start getting in, we're gonna start branching off and partnering with some some people and, and getting the boxes in the basement moving. Um, but I do wanna highlight, um, like I said, the kickback, uh, where, I, where I got these from, Vez and his team will take care of you, um, as well as some other places and some, you know, my other homies that take care of me. Um, so I do appreciate them. Um, but for, uh, I guess you said corporate purposes, I can't really get into who sometimes I get, you know, uh, things from, and you know, they, like I said, they take care of your boys. So, um, I do like these, uh, there's a lot of symbolization on them. Um, like I said, I don't really get into the materials. I do know it has like a little breathable material, you know, if you can see, um, I do know certain colorways you get when you, when you sweat and when your foot sweats, uh, you can see the sweat mark on them. I, I, I wore these to work. Um, but uh, I haven't played in this colorway. I did play in this shoe, and I am a fan of the shoe for just hooping. So if you can get your hands on the Kyrie 5, I do know um, there's uh, certain places that have the Kyrie 5s that are like $75 or, or less now. Um, and if you have a coupon or whatever, it might be even cheaper. Um, but these, I, I didn't play in this colorway, but I do know like a, a, a 
gray colors that I have wore before, um, you can kind of see the sweat. So depending on the duration of your workout or your training or how long you're gonna be playing, if you don't really wanna see the sweat, you, got, you wanna pick and choose with the colorway. Um, but like I said, on this little channel, um, these episodes, you know, I highlight, I wear some I merch from some people that I'm close with. Um, shout out to uh, Coach Mo with her movement. I had on a uh, throw it up. She had some new um, non-negative, neg no negativity uh, things coming out. Um, shout out to um, uh, Society Dropout. Uh, shout out to Baby Shack, you know, and some other ones. Uh, but we ain't gonna take too much longer of your time, but appreciate y'all tuning in. But you know, just, don't forget about the shoes that work well for you. So, if, you know, you have to go to the resale place, go ahead and get them. Um, I got these from the kickback, uh, but as new things come out, we're gonna start to do reviews on newer ones. But I just wanted to show you guys what worked for me. And until next time, make sure you tune in because the next uh, episode you